then this idea of you, idea of this I, will fall back into its source. It can't exist simply on its own. Because it's not real. It has no light of itself. So let's say, for example, I'm going to give you a tool. Oh, how you deal with this is you say, I like that tree. Okay, so cut, sever the connection between I and the tree. Okay, go ahead, do it right now. Cut that. You cut this part. So I like that tree. So before it says, I like that tree, you cut that so what happens it just says i now there's nothing to attach it to you've cut you have severed the connection of it because it says i like that tree so you cut it right there so as soon as i comes you don't even wait for it to say like something like the tree you cut it here so now i rises i what It's hanging out there and it falls back. So you see like your mind goes back into silence again. And then you say, I don't really like that teacher or I don't resonate with his teachings anymore. I used to, but I don't. And then just as soon as I comes and cut that connection, and then the rest of the story is not there. And then the eye is like, oh, okay, all right, what am I doing here? And then it has nothing to attach itself. It falls back into silence. Then again, you say, for example, my son is bugging me or is going through problems, you know, again, there's a me, there's a sense of me connecting itself to something, cut that off again, and then the me, the I, is lingering in the air, and then it falls back. You do that long enough, You're going to see that awareness is going to be the only thing it is here. And there is no suffering because the I has to be here to suffer. In the absence of the I or who you think you are, it's only li life. You know, you say, okay, I don't like Donald Trump. I don't like this new, or I don't like Biden. I don't like the Democrats. I don't like this. Look at it again. You're saying this. You're passionate about it. I need to demonstrate. Cut the connection between I and whatever. And then all of a sudden, this I is just like, okay, what am I doing here? It's naked. And all the spotlights is on it. And then doesn't have anything to do and boom falls back goes back to the source it is work of course you have to pay attention to it because it's a lifetime of being conditioned so I don't have a magic pill to give you and you take it and, you know, boom, everything's good. You have to pay attention to it. It's a little bit work, but it's worth it. Because every time you do it, you go back into silence and you go back to your, I mean, you don't go back. What happens is the idea of you disappears so life is here. It's not even that you go back somewhere. It's just life. Awareness is always here. 
is just this illusory person appears in between and thinks believes that it's doing something believes that it exists and that's where you suffer but in the absence of this thought that I am someone something I'm a man I'm a woman I am American I'm Swedish I'm da 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 in the absence of this I it's just is it's just life it's just it's always been life in this moment and this I likes to say okay you know when I get awakened when I get enlightened when I get to that place It's postponing things to another time because it wants to survive. It wants to linger on. Because it wants to avoid of what is right now. Because that which you're looking for, you already are. And that which you're looking for, it's here. It's nowhere else. It's just you recognize it. You recognize it that here is the only thing there is and awareness is the only thing, everything is awareness. And you keep focusing on that long enough then you will illuminate. You disappear. The idea of you disappears. And when the idea of you disappears, suffering that was happening to the idea of you goes with it. Because that idea of you, that's idea of me, the I, is the one who thinks this world is screwed up. And it's not right. It needs to be something else. But life doesn't think that way. Life doesn't care. Life simply is. And it produces the light and the dark. Both of them are aspects of itself. There's nothing, no better or worse to, it, to itself. It creates both. It creates the evil man and the holy man. They're both creations of the same source. It is the same life that creates this beautiful, pristine beach white sand beach, beautiful palm trees, gorgeous turquoise water. You can see the fish under the water. It's shanti, it's beautiful, it's breathtaking. And it is the same life that brings a nasty tsunami and the tsunami comes and destroys this beach. An earthquake happens or whatever and destroys this pristine, beautiful beach. And I'm near and I say, oh my God, what a disaster, blah, blah, blah. And this should have not happened or it should be different or, but life doesn't care. It is. Life is. It's always been. 